The way of the hunter. Here's a question for you might determine whatever or not you want to invest any time or money in way of the hunter. Do you want to play a video game or do you want to be hunting? Because if you want to play a video game, I'm going to suggest that you stay far, far from a way of the hunter. But if you wanted to go hunting, meaning trumping through the woods for hours and, and without seeing any animals, hiding in a blind for days hoping that your target comes by, or making the slightest noise and watching the critters 200 yards away here, you and skitter away in a manner that border or supernatural, when the way of the hunter is definitely for you. While Way of the Hunter is indeed a video game, it's fully deeply focused on aligning with what one would experience if they strapped a rifle on their back and wanted into the wild. Way of the Hunter is realistic and almost slavish way, which leads to some serious, surreally interactive video game moments. The animals the player is supposed to be hunting wander around the enormous open world, and the players wander around and try to find them without spoking them. Or sit and wait near feeding or watering area and hope that animals come by. The lad is so situation where I set myself up in a blind and then went to the kitchen to make a can of soup, pooping my head around the corner on occasions to see if the deer wasn't happened by. Realistic? Sure. Fun gameplay? I don't think so. I set a little table in my living room looking out with TV between the bites and survey to field beyond my blind. You would think that the way of Hunter would realize that a bunch of time had gone by put something anything into the light of sight. Nope, if there are no animals, there are no animals. Everything in the way of Hunter seems to be built in delivered authentic hunting experience, from the behavior of the animals to the ballistic of each weapon. In practical terms, this means that I have yet to hit an animal with a shotgun because I can't close enough to do so. Instead, pooping off shots at ducks and pheasants with a high provided rifle that practically explodes them on impact. And I have absolutely pummeled bullets sponge large game animals with the holes before they will finally agree to lay down and die, usually in some outweighed spot where I find them curled up after a day or two. How tough is to take down an animal way in the way of hunter? Well, let's use my mole deer body Hollywood as an example. In the early stages of the story driven campaign, the player is tasked with down Hollywood, one specific deer with a mole form antler, which is wandering around with a group of deer bodies in a several miles wide sweat in the fair of forest. Finding Hollywood is a task that is extremely difficult. Taking him down was one of the greatest gaming accomplishments of my life, because Hollywood would you see in the terminator of mule deer he will not die in the way of the hunter the player used the hunter sense to locate evidence of animal activities this allows you to detect needs areas places where the animal eats drinks or rest you can also find the game trace which usually link these needs areas providing a natural path for animals to move about the forest however the teflon the deer spends most of his time with his harem of dear ladies hanging out in their neat areas, which are separated by gargantuan fields of tall grass and the dark areas of the fence woods. If the player attempts approach the group of deer a reasonable walking pace, they will instantly detect you and hop like terrified business into the woods. They are sensitive to sound and can smell you coming depend on which way wing is blowing. Note that the player must take into account the wind direction and approach in a crowd to prevent the noise, which allows the player to move approximately one um, quarter of the miles. So you have to find the deer. You have to get within the shooting range of the deer, and you must take the deer down. Special note, the deer takes off round into the woods after being shot, so be ready to track him by blood he leaves on the grass and bushes behind him. And how long did I take me to take down Hollywood? Three days. I don't mean in three game days, I mean real world three days. I spent three days on and off an entire weekend of video game playing hunting Hollywood. Now, take a look at this forensic examination various shots Hollywood took without dying. So, on the day one, I find Hollywood munching some greenery with his bell deer hole. After scourging him off twice, I land up, uh, I think it's a pretty good headshot. I squeeze one of him hitting Hollywood, it was like me at that. 
Uh, turns out my bullet extreed Hollywood snack doing damage to his skull and he's um, able to shrug off. Hollywood runs off into the woods and I didn't see him again until the next my f day. So the day two, I spotted the drinking area where I crept over through the sun bushes with some shots and the thoughts. I instead of the body shot, I managed to rip a bullet through the body from the woods. Hollywood stops drinking and robs Mary off across into the air woods. I follow the boat trail until it dissipates in a heavy bush of the woods. I found that uh, on the day three, uh, I began trash traveling my haunting lodge to sleeping around tail days to 6 a.m. I'm a bit sympathetic of some weird from depression, or not, it's probably my 12th of them. I found Hollywood laying in grass and lined up another shot again, piercing Hollywood lungs. He scares away again, leaving me crushing madly and clenching my control enough to break bones. Again, I follow the blood trail, again, I lose the trail. Later that afternoon, I spot uh, laying dead the Hollywood laying dead on the field, little disheartened that I didn't get to see him finally die. I still decide that it was a win and ahead of the time next mission to explode some ducks in the swarm. Along the way I made a point to run down some deer with my jeep just to hear satisfying crunch. Well, the um, phrase, the blizzard difficulty is thrown around a lot of video games. I don't think it's strong enough to convey how way of the hunter really is. In addition to the difficulty which I fully acknowledge that some players will absolutely love, there are a number of quality of life issues that hold way of the hunter. Fast travel points and a few far between leaving the player to drive massive distances in the frail jeep to reach different hunting grounds. The only way to advance time is to return to a camp and a sleep, which is widely inconvenient when you are attempting to stack out the area and the player's movement is so so slow. Again, there are connections made to keep the game realistic, but do they make the peace gameplay usually grateful? So well, it's crushingly difficult, glossily paced, graphically challenged, and yet there is something hypnotic and impressive about the scope of the way of Hunter and its devotion is maintaining a realistic hunting experience for better, for woes. Going to this expecting realism and real life semi broadening realism and you will be in the right frame of the week. Thank you, thank you for watching. Don't you guys forget to comment, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to press the bells receive a notification about our new video thank you so much bye bye